Hello, my baby beans. I love doing this intro. It just makes me so excited. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited to start this series. Um, I will be doing the Haikyuu series after one question, I promise. But um, this series, like, props to the Ultimate Killer Bunny because their, like, original series is, like, one of my favorites. And I legit was so scared to do this without their permission because I feel like people would comment, oh, you're taking this idea from the Ultimate Killer Bunny. But I asked them and they said it's fine. <laughs> so I'm happy now. But, um, before I get into today's video, thank you to the Ultimate Killer Bunny for making this series because it's awesome. <laughs> And, um, I also need some more questions for the 1K special I'm doing. I'm gonna do a QA. and a so feel free to ask any questions you want. I will answer them as good as possible, like, the best I can. But if I'm not comfortable with answering the question, I'll just put it up on the screen and, yeah, answer it as best as I can, I guess. <laughs> Um, but without further ado, you guys don't have to listen to my blabbling anymore. And let's just get into the video. I will be using the original name, Bunny Delilah Bakugo. So let's just get into the video. One question. That's all it takes. Being a Bakugo was really strange in your opinion. While your twin brother, Katsuki, got your mom's loud and explosive demeanor, you got your father's quiet and timid demeanor. You and your brother had the same quirk, but your explosions had color like pink and blue. You both wanted to be heroes and got into UA with flying colors. And when your brother was kidnapped, it was like your whole world went downhill. And even when he got back, you seemed quieter than usual and barely touched your food at dinner. And this had been going on for a few weeks now and Kotsky decided to say something so he did oi eat some food would you you're gonna get skinny he said with his normal squirrel and your mother retorted leave your sister alone Kotsky she can have however much she wants and they kept on and on with yelling and your dad tried calming them but when something in you snapped you just yelled shut up all of you can you just stop yelling for once I'm tired of it H honey I your mom started but you cut her off no I don't care what you have to say I'm going to Kirishima's house and no one can stop me and just like that, you left. Didn't even grab your shoes or jacket. And it was cold outside. Eventually, you made it to Kirishima's house, and his mother instantly let you in. Kirishima looked worried as he asked you, What happened? That one question, and you broke into a sobbing mess. You explained how all they did was yell and how you were tired of it. He listened, and halfway through, he brought you into a tight embrace and said, Shh, it's okay. You're here with me now. And my mom said, stay as long as you need. And with that, he wiped my tears, and we started to fall asleep. In, and I started to fall asleep in his arms. And I finally gave in to sleep and Kirishima noticed and took me to his room and he laid down and put me on his chest and let me sleep he kissed my forehead and whispered one question that's all it takes okay the end kind of confused me because I said me and, um, yeah, but this is an awesome series. There's unfortunately only four parts, but if you guys want to see the full series, go check out the Ultimate Killer Bunnies channel because it is absolutely amazing. I love this series. And, um, yeah, don't forget to ask any questions. Any questions are allowed, but if I don't feel 
comfortable answering them. Like, if you ask for my age, I will not answer that question because I don't feel, like, comfortable giving my age to people who I don't know. But I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Love you, my baby beans. Mwah. Bye. Also, it's like the questions I, like, want you guys to ask it's like truth or dare okay so feel free to ask anything i will do it